Good evening and welcome to the news tonight at 6. I'm English US. A mobile vaccination clinic has opened at the Whitla Hall at Queen's University in Belfast as part of a major drive to make vaccinations more accessible in Northern Ireland. More pop-up vaccination clinics are expected to follow this week. The clinic at Whitla Hall is open to all adults who have not yet received a first dose of any vaccine, and it will open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with no appointment required. The Belfast Trust has asked anyone who attends to bring photographic ID and proof of residency in Northern Ireland. The mobile clinic will administer a first dose of the Pfizer vaccine and anyone getting it this week will get their second dose in six weeks' time. Any adult aged 18 and over who has not yet had their first vaccine is being urged to come forward. Another news. Liveline listeners were left in disbelief at a 69-year-old's Instagram catfish story. On Tuesday afternoon the show was presented by Katie Hannon in place of Joe Duffy, and guest Max, 69, reached out to tell a cautionary tale. He began by explaining that he was contacted by a stranger on Instagram on June 24. Promoted stories around 9.41 p.m. he received a message from, Jane, saying, Hello, my dear. He wanted to see where the communication went, and they had a shared mutual follower so he initially thought nothing of it. I don't get he's but this message didn't look too suspicious, and I responded, I replied and Jane replied saying how are you? He asked the catfish, what country she was in, and they said they were in Miami. Florida. Next tonight. Hundreds of Irish people took part in a Dublin airport exodus to Malaga over the weekend as part of the great COVID escape. Many were going for a month or two and planned to work from the Costa del Sol as the government and NPHET continued to impose restrictions at home. Saturday was the first weekend day after the ban on non-essential travel was lifted across Europe with the introduction of the EU Digital COVID Certificate on July 1st. And finally, sport. England vs Denmark. Three Lions fans eagerly await crucial Euro 2020 semi-final at Wembley, Daniel has the reports.